There's one. Oh, there's one. Holy shit, it's big. Whoa! Alrighty guys, we have an awesome video for you today. We caught quite a few fish. We were fishing a lake that's super local to me, five minutes away. It's our drinking lake. You're not allowed to take any kind of watercraft on there, so people wade these lakes all the time. The same lake I was in last video. I went wading in it, caught a few nice ones, and I landed an absolute giant bass. Biggest of the year, very close, or possibly the biggest of my life. It was an amazing experience and you guys have to see it for yourself. Now let's get back into the video. It's not like that most of the way. There's a lot more pads than there was last time I feel like. Maybe not, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, the water's like the air temperature right now, so it's almost 60, I bet. So the fish should be like pre-spawn mood. I don't know how deep or shallow these fish are, so I'm just gonna walk out here and walk through. What the hell kind of siren is that? We're fishing a crawl again. The water's a little muckier maybe. There's a lot more pads back in here. I'm sure the fish are still back in them. So, just gotta figure them out. Whoa. That ain't good. Uh, if I remember correctly, these rage crawls are pretty, uh, pretty durable. Maybe I'm wrong. There's one. Oh yeah. That's a fish. Um, oh, I think it's pretty nice. Oh, dude, it's like a one and a half, two pounder maybe. He's swimming at me. What? Well, it's not horrible. Yeah. There we. All right, guys, we got a nice one here. Um, about a pound, a pound and a half maybe. I think they're starting to spawn because he has a little red marking on his tail like he's getting beat up a little. Some spawning sign, but uh, fish number one is a nice one. Dude, they're so freaking weird to fight in here because of all this weeds. Dude, I can reel this thing like a top water. I don't think it's the right time of year for that, even though the people are catching fish on top of water. I see. Maybe there's bass up there spawning. A little more. Whoa! It popped out of the pad. <laughs> I almost killed you with my freaking crawl. It's not a very heavy bullet weight, but it would still hurt. The bass in here were so aggressive last time. The one I watched eat, like, one of this crawl, like it was gonna die if it didn't get it. Where are the fish? Holy shit! It's a snakehead. That's what they are. They're freaking snakehead. Right next to my little lure. Sometimes you can't tell if it's a fish or these damn lily stems because the lily stems have like recoil so it like jolts your bait back a little. Oh, there's one. 
Holy shit, it's big. Oh my god, this, this is giant. Holy shit, what is this? This thing is huge. I gotta see what kind of fish this is. It's pulling drag on a bait caster with 30 pound braid. Come on. Uh, doesn't. Well, do you see how that thing was? I, I feel him on there. Come on, get out. I don't need him to get stuck. What the hell? Holy shit, it's a giant bass. It's a big, big bass. Oh! Dude, this is like a, this is like a six pounder. Whoa! Six. Holy shit, let's get on the bank. This is like a six, seven pounder. Oh my god. What in the f oh guys? Oh my god. Holy crap. This is like a six pounder. Look at this freaking fish. The hook just popped right out. Alright, guys, I just caught an absolute behemoth of a bass here. This thing, I'd have to guess, is probably five and a half, six pounds. I'm gonna give him a breath. He's been out of the water for a minute. Probably five and a half, six pounds. This lake holds giants. It was one hell of a fight. I mean, look at this freaking fish. Oh my God. All right, guys, we're gonna release this giant bass here. Oh my God. This thing is freaking huge. I gotta send that to mom and dad. <laughs> Dude, that fish is freaking giant. Holy shit! No! Right. Did you see my hand compared to its mouth? That's why you fish pre-spawn. One, that was already a big fish, and they get so fat. Dude, I felt a little tap in my line, and then it started running out, and I waited like one second, I put my rod down, and just freaking slammed that hook into him. And I, dude, I was like, holy crap. Not even, the hook wasn't even in him good. When I picked him up and started walking to the bank, it literally just fell out. I didn't even touch the hook. Oh, I got one. Oh, it's big. It's another big one. Uh, it, it came off. That was another big fish. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, dude. I, I jigged it a few times and then I saw, I was sitting here talking to you and I looked back and I saw my line just going Wee. That fish was just dogging me, dude. He just kept taking off. There's a fish. Um, I don't know. It's not horrible. What the hell? Oh, yes. They fight like freaking pigs in here. It's not a bad one. Why is he so damn red? That means they're eating crawls when their crusher plate's red like that, supposedly. But there we go. Got another nice one. Uh, the hook popped right out because I did not think he was on there. I didn't set the hook right. About a pound, maybe a little over a pound. Last fish could ate him, but still a fish. Oh, dude, there's a big lay down right here. Dude, there's no way there's not a fish in none of this. This was an old pine tree. There's so many like... There's so many like, it's an old pine tree. There's so many pine needles and shit. And I can't even make a good cast. 
Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. You know what's crazy? I've never seen like a huge bass like that, like eat one of my lures. I've never seen like a big, big bass like eat one of my lures. It'd be cool to see something giant like that slurp it up. Like the only time I sight fish bass is when they're like tiny, I feel like. Oh, oh, that was a snakehead, it just broke me off. Tell me you didn't just see that. Broke, broke me clean off. Clean freaking off, dude. Damn it. How the hell does that even happen? Well guys, that right there is the video. We caught some really nice fish, biggest fish of the year, one of my biggest fish of my life out of this lake here. Yeah, see you guys in the next video.